are back at Disneyland and you guys know that I've been going to Disneyland at least once a year for my whole life and so today we're gonna show you guys our favorite Disneyland foods under $10. Let's head into the park and eat some good food. Let's ride. Let's ride. So to start off the day, we went to the Ship to Shore Marketplace, which is located right across from Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, right across from the entrance of there. And usually they just sell like fruits. You can get your giant pickle, you can get your giant pineapple here, as well as turkey legs and chimichangas. But what a lot of people don't know is that during the morning, they have a breakfast chimichanga. And another secret that a lot of people don't know is that also right across from Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is this nice, really peaceful, serene sitting area. Literally no one is here at all it's so so peaceful and you can even see like the ship and the water it's so beautiful so if you're looking for a place to relax then this is definitely the spot i also ordered this green salsa so let's give it a good dip mm. this is so nice and hot and inside here there's eggs sausage cheese potatoes and the outside is nicely fried this one had been sitting in the wrapper a little bit long so it's not super crispy or anything but still really good i'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the salsa on like that because i feel like that's a more effective way to get the salsa onto the chimichanga Oh my gosh, it loads it with so much flavor. It has a slight kick to it. It's nothing super, super spicy, but it complements the breakfast chimichanga really well. Bird review. Mm, I really like this, um, what is this? Salsa. Yeah, I like this salsa. It's a green salsa. There's stuff in it and it tastes good. by the Jolly Holiday Bakery. And I love the Jolly Holiday. They have so much good stuff here. A few things that are my favorites that aren't under $10 would be their Jolly Holiday Combo, which is their grilled cheese with a side of tomato basil soup, and also their beef birria toasted cheese. Those are definitely in my top Disney foods. They're just not under $10, but I figured I'd just mention them here in case you guys are interested in trying those. But moving on to what is under $10, I got this Chimney Sweep Cold Brew. It's a cold brew coffee with hickory smoked syrup, chocolate and caramel sauces, cream and smoked salt sugar sprinkle. Also, I'm so sad because we left our Feed Me Me straws at the Airbnb. Tomorrow, we will remember to bring them, but today we're using the paper straws. So let's give this a mix. Wow, that's really good. It has a strong cold brew flavor, a chocolatey flavor to it as well. It tastes like if chocolate milk and coffee had a baby and also added a little bit of salty smokiness to it, like a subtle, subtle, subtle hint of that. This one is our second favorite cold brew in Disneyland Park. You guys will find out what our number one favorite is later on in the video. Then another must get at the Jolly Holiday is this Raspberry Rose Macaron. This item, I remember seeing it on a bunch of blogs that it's one of the must get things at Disneyland. But for a long time, I was like, is it really that good but once I tried it I could not go back this thing is worth the hype mm. the macaron has a nice little crisp on the shell but it's chewy on the inside the fresh raspberry oh my gosh it just like bursts in your mouth and it's like so juicy so fresh and it just goes together so well and then we also stopped by the refreshment corner and we picked up one of my favorite snacks which is the spicy firefly chips they're spicy corn chips topped with chili cheese and jalapenos look at that Oh my god, it looks so good. The spicy corn chips are basically just like flaming hot Fritos. But yeah, let's give it a try. Mm. The chips are nice and crunchy, but they also got a little bit softened by the chili. But I personally really like the texture of having some crunchy bits and some soft bits. I feel like the stuff at Disney, even if it says it's spicy, it's usually not that spicy. But this one does bring a little bit of heat. I'm lactose intolerant. Uh-oh. Yummy. <laughs> These are flaming hot Fritos and they're flaming good. Delish. <laughs>
was bad I can't describe what you are Okay, so we just stopped by Rancho del Zocalo and when I was referring to our number one favorite cold brew, I was referring to the Orchata cold brew from Rancho del Zocalo, but they must have recently switched it to the strawberry Orchata cold brew. So I'm hoping that it's just as good as the original Orchata cold brew because that is our absolute number one favorite. I also forgot to mention our other favorite, the Black Calf cold brew from Galaxy's Edge. I'm not sure if we'll be able to stop by and get one today, but in case we don't, I wanted to mention it to you guys because that one's really good as well. So yeah, if you see the Orchata cold brew at Rancho del Zocalo, definitely get it. It's our number one favorite. But we're gonna try this strawberry version. It has strawberry Orchata on the bottom, cold brew on the top, and then they also top it off with some strawberry cold foam and cinnamon. Let's give this a mix. Whoa. The strawberry with coffee combination is very unique. The strawberry flavor is actually really strong. I feel like usually in cold brew drinks, the coffee flavor is so strong that sometimes the other flavors get muted. But this one, the strawberry flavor really comes out and it almost actually mutes the cinnamon flavor. I'm not sure if I love the strawberry plus coffee plus cinnamon combination. I can't say it's as good as our number one favorite Orchata cold brew. I really hope they bring that one back because that's literally our favorite and apparently it's a lot of other people's favorites too. So I really hope they switch back. <laughs> I miss it. And then another way to save some money, which I feel like a lot of you guys already probably know, is to ask for a free water cup. I like getting it at Rancho del Zocalo because you can just get a large size and fill it with ice inside, and then they have a water refill station outside. Whereas if you go to some of the other quick service restaurants, they just give you a small one, and then you can't really like refill it yourself. So that's why I like to get my water here. Nothing like ice cold water on a hot Disney day. So refreshing. Cafe Daisy in Toontown and they're relatively new but they're already really popular because of this item which is their pizza flopovers. I got the pepperoni one. This one is technically not under $10. It's like $10.49 but compiling a list of Disney foods under $10 is actually really really hard. I feel like I have to add a little leeway because otherwise this whole video would just be drinks and little snacks and I wanted to make sure I include some actual meals in this video for you guys but although the pepperoni one is $10.49 the cheese one is $9.99. So if you're still looking for that under 10 price point, there is an option for you. So as you can see, it's basically like a pizza, but it's just folded in half. Let's see if there's a cheese pull. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really nice and cheesy. You got the salty and umaminess from the pepperoni. The dough has a nice little chew to it. It's just a perfect on the go kind of meal. Also, since Cafe Daisy is so popular, usually the seating area is full. It's like pretty hard to find a seat. So I would recommend taking your food and bringing it over to this seating area across from Matterhorn. It's right behind Edelweiss Snacks. But yeah, it's like this shaded area with lots of tables and you get a really good view of Matterhorn. Oh, and also I would definitely recommend mobile ordering here because that line can get super long. Rooftop heights, a new skyline Lights define Pacific lines Felt so high, I'm never crashing down Learn your eyes to pass the time Hangs all tied It's gonna be bumpy! <laughs> Was it bumpy? Very. <laughs> so bumpy. Alright, 
So we just went to Red Rose Tavern and picked up this gray stuff gateau. Of course, this is in a reference to the line in Be Our Guest where they say, try the gray stuff, it's delicious. And it is indeed delicious because this is one of my favorite little treats at the park. It basically has a cookies and cream mousse and inside there's like a cake and it's all on top of this shortbread cookie. Uh-oh. Mm. Cookies and cream is one of my favorite ice cream flavors, so I love that cookies and cream mousse on the outside. The shortbread cookie is nice and buttery. It has like a little lemony flavor. There's a little raspberry in there too. The cake inside is really nice and moist, not dry at all. I believe it's a red velvet cake, so it complements the whole thing really nicely. Lumiere was correct. It is delicious. We are at Hungry Bear Restaurant, and this is one of my favorite places to chill and relax. They always have so much seating available, and it's nice and shaded, and also it's right next to the railroad, so sometimes you can see the train passing and stuff. One of my favorite things to get at Hungry Bear is actually their onion rings. I feel like they have really, really good onion rings, and this is their loaded cheese onion rings, topped with green chili and bacon cheddar sauce. Mm. What I really like about Hungry Bear's onion rings is that they have a really nice crunchy crisp and also when you bite the onion ring, the onion doesn't just all come out in one bite. Because sometimes when I order onion rings, I'll take a bite and then the whole onion just comes out and then I'm just left with some empty batter. But that is not the case at Hungry Bear. You get this really nice flavor and creaminess from the cheese. The bacon adds a savory note and some umami as well. And you guys know I love onions, so I love the onion flavor you get from the onion ring. The green chili adds this tiny, tiny, tiny hint of spice. Really nothing to worry about. It's very, very faint and subtle, but it's a nice addition. And the onion ring itself is just perfectly crunchy and seasoned. Mm. And then I also picked up some Mickey beignets and these are usually sold at the mint julep bar But right now they're renovating that area. So it's closed So the hungry bear and the Royal Street Fernanda are the two places selling the Mickey beignets So you guys know what we have to do when we get the beignets. We got to shake it up Wow, I feel like this is my best shake yet. Look how covered in powdered sugar that is Mmm, mm. sweet fluffy fried dough covered in powdered sugar, shaped like Mickey. Honestly, how can you go wrong with that? Very tasty. I give it three beignets up. What does that mean? Three thumbs up? Yeah, out of three. But you don't have three thumbs. You only have two. I give it two thumbs up out of two. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna finish up here and then we're actually gonna head over to Tomorrowland because there's a theater there and we got invited to watch the new Indiana Jones movie. We're going to a special screening for it and then afterwards there's gonna be like a little after party kind of thing at the Tropical Hideaway. So I'm gonna film all that stuff and it's gonna be over on my vlog channel. So if you're interested in seeing that, like a little behind the scenes of a creator event that Disney throws, then definitely go check that out on my vlog channel. But tomorrow we're gonna go to California Adventure and show you guys all of our favorite food under $10 at California Adventure. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.
All right, so our first stop in California Adventure is the Corn Dog Castle. And my favorite thing to order here is the Hot Link Corn Dog. It is elite, like Disneyland corn dogs are already so good, but the Hot Link is a game changer. For this one, I have a little money saving tip for you guys that I think most people don't know about. So if you order a corn dog from the Corn Dog Castle, it usually comes with a small bag of chips or you can choose a little cutie like Mandarin Orange. But if you ask for them to leave the side off, then you can save an extra dollar 30 cents. So usually the Hot Link corn dog is 10.79, but since I asked for it without out the side it was nine dollars and 49 cents under ten dollars i personally like my corn dogs with ketchup but let me know below if you guys like them plain or with ketchup or with mustard i heard the guy behind me ask for barbecue sauce which i thought was very interesting so let me know how you guys usually like your corn dog mm. It's been years since I had one of these. I used to get one every single time I came, but then Disney started adding so many new exciting foods that I got distracted by those and haven't had this in years, but it's still just as good as I remember. These things are so hefty that I can barely even hang on to it by the stick. It's like wobbling and I'm scared it's gonna fall off. So I hold it by the bottom like this. <laughs> you got that perfectly fried crispy breading on the outside and the delicious little bit spicy hot link on the inside. Oh, it's so good. I don't if there's one thing about Bird, it's that he needs to get his free bread. <laughs> Thank you. Luckin Fortune Cookery. And I'm just so excited because they're starting to make some changes to the Pacific Wharf area. And they're turning it into San Francisco from Big Hero 6, which if you couldn't tell, is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. But anyway, this isn't really part of the video concept because I haven't tried this ube milk tea before, but I wanted to try it for you guys. So this ube milk tea is topped with tiramisu foam and served with boba. And good news, we remembered to bring our Feed Me Make Last Boba straw today. Link will be in the description as always. So let's give this a mix. If you guys have watched my other Disney videos, I've tried the other boba drinks that they've offered. Like during the holidays last year, they offered a Thai milk tea with boba. That was actually surprisingly really good. Like the boba itself was the perfect texture. Then when I came back in February, they were having a tiger milk tea with boba for the Lunar New Year celebration. That one fell really flat for me. And then I even tried their black milk tea from the Lucky Fortune Cookery. That one was better than the tiger milk tea with boba, but still not as good as the Thai milk tea from the holidays. So I've had very mixed reactions reactions on the different boba drinks they've offered here, but let's go ahead and try this ube milk tea. Hmm, okay. So first up, the boba texture. It's not quite as perfect as it was for the Thai milk tea in the holidays, but it is pretty decent. Like it has a nice chew, it's soft. My one critique is that it is a little bit too soft. So if it was just a little bit bouncier, it would be pretty near perfect texture. And then the ube milk tea, I do get an ube flavor actually. You get that kind of like grainy texture. So I wonder if it does have actual ube in it. It's actually a decent level of sweetness too. I feel like a lot of the boba drinks at Disney are like overly sweet, but this one is a nice level. It does have like an interesting flavor. I think maybe it's from the tiramisu foam. Overall, I had pretty low expectations, but the boba texture is pretty good. And the flavor of the ube milk tea, I definitely taste the ube flavor. We just stopped by the adorable snowman frosted treats and we got one of our favorite things to get. It's called the Pixar Pier Frosty Parfait. And basically it has lemon soft serve on the bottom and then it has like a blue slushy and then it's chopped with more of that lemon soft serve. They also have mango, so you could substitute with mango if you don't want the lemon, but we've tried both and we personally like the lemon more. Although I don't like the maraschino cherry, so give to bird. I don't eat it a lot. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Mm. It's tart and lemony, but it works really well with the blue raspberry slushy. The soft serve that they serve here is basically equivalent to like Dole Whip at Disneyland Park, but the flavors they have are lemon and mango. And at Disneyland, a Dole Whip swirl itself is like $7. And so for this to be $7.50 and you get the slush and stuff, it's way more worth it to get this. Although I still will pay the $7 seat Dole Whip <laughs> because I love Dole Whip. But yeah, this is one of our favorite best value items in the park. So good. Ready to lose? I'm yawning because it's going to be such an 
easy dub. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah! Oh wait! No! 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 Boo! Boo! My high score! Good job, bird! Winner! No! I can't believe Bird beat me in Midway Mania. He only beat me by 100 points, which is just one of those small targets. So we pretty much tied, right Bird? No. <laughs> but yeah, to cheer me up, I have this Poultry Palace chicken drumstick box. This one is technically $10.99. I know it's not under $10, but if I made the video title Disney food under $11, it just doesn't have the same ring, okay? So we're just gonna have a little leeway for that. All right, let's open it up. Whoa. So it comes with three seasoned chicken drumsticks and also a side of slaw. So even though this is $10.99, it's still really great value for three pieces of chicken drumsticks and they're not small either. These are decently sized chicken drumsticks and a side of slaw. So still really good value in my opinion. The breading on the outside adds a nice little crisp. The inside of the chicken is decently juicy and the seasoning on the outside adds a little bit of flavor too. I'm gonna dip it in some of that barbecue sauce that it comes with. Mm. Adds a nice sweet, smoky, tangy flavor. In addition to the barbecue sauce, they also give a sweet red chili sauce. And then we also have the slaw. This has a really good refreshing crunch and it's actually really good on this hot day. So this was much needed. Mm. Mm. And presto, the doors open whoa, for you. Whoa, whoa. cold brew from Pim Test Kitchen. In the past, they've had a butter pecan cold brew that we really liked, but they recently switched it out for this cookies and cream one. It's chocolate cookie cold brew with sweet cold foam. Oh, it's so strong. Oh my gosh. You definitely have to make sure to mix in all of that sweet cold foam on top. Otherwise, it's like really, 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 really strong. I wouldn't say like the cookies and cream flavor is super duper strong. You have the cookie crumbs on the sides so that if you sip it and you get some of those cookie crumbs, then the flavor is a lot more prominent. In general, in my opinion, the cold brews at Disneyland tend to be better, but the ones I have tried at Pim Test Kitchen in California Adventure have all been really good as well. You do say something. Just stopped by Award Wieners and we got this bacon street dog. It's an all beef hot dog with red pepper ketchup, peppers, onions, and bacon with fries. They call these film strip fries and I really like these because they're such a fun shape. They have this like little curl to them. As Bird would say, fun to eat. Fun to eat. Mm. The combination of the hot dog with those grilled peppers and onions is so nice. The hot dog is salty. The grilled peppers and onions adds a bit of sweetness. The little bacon bits on top adds a nice smokiness and they're crispy as well. So there's like a contrast of textures there. The bun is nice and toasted, but also fluffy. Now for the fries. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Crispy, 
fluffy potatoes, just really nice overall. I also recommend the asada fries here. Those are over $10, but I really like those too. Another must-get item from Award Wieners are their funnel cake fries. They usually switch off flavors. Right now, they have a tropical flavor and a strawberry cheesecake flavor, which is the one that we got. They're cinnamon sugar funnel fries with cheesecake bites and strawberry drizzle topped with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. In the past, we've tried pumpkin spice funnel cake fries, cookies and cream funnel cake fries, apple pie funnel cake fries. They usually switch off to a lot of different flavors, but they all have one thing in common, which is that they're all really delicious. Mm. Mm. The funnel cake fries are perfectly fried, really nice and crispy. They have a little bit of chew in the middle, but actually in recent years, I've noticed that they changed the recipe of the funnel cake fry itself. It used to be more chewy, like a mochi-like texture, whereas now they're less chewy on the inside, but they still do have that chew. They're more crispy though. I love the crumble that they added on the outside of the ice cream. Kind of reminds me of those like strawberry shortcake ice cream bars, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but really good. Mm. All right, and now is another little bonus thing. This one I have not tried before. I just really was curious about it and I figured out, try it out and review it for you guys. This is the spicy chili cheese churro. Basically, it's like a hot Cheetos churro. As a certified hot Cheetos lover, I am both excited and terrified. So let's give it a try. A lot of things going on here. It's salty, spicy, sour, creamy, cheesy, crunchy, interesting, very unique. There's so many adjectives to describe this one churro. I think it's like the kind of thing where I'm glad I tried it, but I would not order it again. <laughs> Let's hear Bird's review. I think you should get this if you don't like tasty food. <laughs> We just stopped by the Cozy Cone Motel. So one cone sells churros, one cone sells ice cream cones, and the one we stopped by sells these bread cones. And you can either get it with chili or you can get it with bacon mac and cheese. So my personal favorite is the chili one. And basically inside there's chili, they sprinkle some cheese and it's topped with some corn chips. Mm. Mm. The chili is super hearty, meaty. You definitely get those beans in there and it has like a tomato-y flavor. And then the queso adds a really nice creaminess. Cheese and chili just go together so well. The corn chips add such a nice crunch, definitely a nice contrast in textures. And I love how this bread cone is like a vehicle to hold your food, but it's also edible as well. And the bread really balances out the flavorfulness of the chili. Mm. While you're in town, be sure to- We interrupt this program for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child! Oh, boy, we got to get you home. Nothing exciting ever happens! Look, dude, there's your door! We're almost there, kiddo. All right, you guys, we were gonna get a milkshake from Schmoozies because that's one of our favorite things to get when we're at California Adventure and it's also under $10. It's actually Bird's favorite because one of his favorite foods is milkshakes. So he always insists that we get a milkshake from Schmoozies. But today, I guess we were too late and they're closed already. So just imagine that we had a milkshake today. Yummy. All right, so that's where we're gonna conclude the video. Comment below your favorite food from the video, or also let me know if I missed any food under $10 at Disney that you guys love. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!